CD4035 is a four-stage shift register, it supports both serial and parallel data input options. In case of parallel data input pins, it takes data from four parallel inputs, shifts them, and then reflects the shifted data on four parallel outputs. Data shifts on every positive edge of the clock. Each shift register stage consists of D flip-flops, which connected in series with each other. This IC is used for data storage or shifting of data as it is a shift register IC. CD4035 has two serial inputs along with four parallel inputs. This feature enables this IC to convert the serial data into parallel data. So, you can also use this IC in converting between serial and parallel interfaces. This IC is useful in many circuits for generating time delays, data storage, data transfer, manipulation and many more tasks like these can be performed through this IC. The purpose of shift registers is to shift the data. The operation of this IC is simple. P slash S pin is used to select parallel or serial data input mode. When P slash S control pin is active low, the IC works in the serial mode, and all the register stages are connected in a serial D flip-flop configuration. Pin 3 and 4 are serial input pins. When P slash S input is high, the IC works in parallel mode. Pin 9 to 12 are parallel data input pins. Hence, P slash S input pin is responsible for deciding parallel or serial entry of data. Pin Q0 to Q3 are parallel data output pins. Now let's take an example circuit in Proteus to see working of CD4035. This example circuit generates three-phase signal using parallel in and parallel out mode of CD4035 shift register. We can use this circuit example to design variable frequency drive. This circuit consists of two NOT gates CD4049 and one CD4035 shift register. This circuit generates three-phase PWM signal, which are 120 degree out of phase with each other. The frequency of output signals depends on the frequency of input clock signal. The frequency of the input clock signal for CD4035 should be six times the frequency of your required output signal. For instance, if you want a frequency of output signals 50 Hz, the frequency of the clock given to pin number 6 should be 50 cross 6, that is 300 Hz. Therefore, the formula for output frequency is, output signals frequency is equal to input clock frequency divided by 6. Click on clock signal and set the frequency to 300 Hz. Now let's run the simulation and check output. We connected an oscilloscope to output pins to see waveforms. Now, click on simulation play button. As you can see from output waveforms, this circuit generates three-phase PWM signal, which are 120 degree out of phase with each other. Also frequency of each signal is 50 Hz. For complete details and circuit, check the link given in the description of the video.